Yo, what up guys, it's Juan at JB Reviews. Today I have the Peloton Bike Plus. Let's check it out. So we're all fairly familiar with what Peloton is. It's going to be a spin bike, exercise bike company. You've seen the commercials, I'm sure. They've been all over TV, the internet and such with Usain Bolt and other athletes. Now you can get a comparable product with Nordic Track or other companies. Peloton though is probably going to be the most mainstream and most commonly known exercise bike, spin bike on the market as of right now. Now the bike is actually really versatile in terms of the kind of workout that you can do simply because you can do weight training, high intensity interval training, general cardio, smashing that like button, you can do yoga classes, it really depends on the user so it's super versatile in that regard. Now I do have the Bike Plus here for review. You can get the more basic tier of Peloton bike. There are going to be some differences between the two. Now if you are going with the Bike Plus, you will automatically get a slightly bigger touchscreen. The touchscreen is going to be a 1080p touchscreen. With the Bike Plus version, it is going to be a little over two inches bigger on the touchscreen. You are also getting enhanced audio on the Bike Plus version as opposed to the basic bike version. Along with that, you are getting a spec bump on the front facing camera. You're going from five megapixels up to eight megapixels with a better microphone setup. You are getting a digital full array microphone on the bike plus version as opposed to a standard single microphone on the bike version. Now the bike plus version also does have a Apple watch integration. Now that will provide you with the ability to connect your Apple Watch fairly easily to the Bike Plus and basically be able to track your workouts on the Peloton through your Apple Watch and whatnot. The front facing camera does not allow the instructor or other members in live classes to view you. That's going to be more so oriented towards a friend that you might want to work out with live. You can interact and speak with them back and forth through that. So that does provide a level of privacy in regards to just random people looking at you work out on a live class. The Plus model also does have an auto follow on the resistance knob. Now what that does basically enable is going to be for the bike itself to sync up to whatever the instructor is going to be doing on the workout, meaning if they increase or decrease the resistance on their bike, given the workout that they might be doing at that moment, it'll auto adjust your bike. So that's going to be cool because it kind of keeps you on their pace and you don't really have to think about the resistance knob at all. Now you do have the option to increase or decrease it or just simply keep it locked to what the, to whatever they're doing at that moment. Speaking a little bit about the seating position and adjustments on the bike, this thing is going to be very customizable in terms of your seating position. You can adjust the height, the position towards the resistance knob, all of that. So you can tweak it to your liking. So that's going to be great if you are one that's very particular on your seating position. Now the bike does come with two water bottle holders that are going to be seated right in front of you right there for easy access. Now both bikes do come with a spot behind the seat for weights. Now what that does do is keeps the weights on you that way they're easily accessible because some classes are more geared towards light weight training, yoga, etc. Now the Plus model is also going to have a 360 swivel touchscreen so you can swivel the touchscreen around, put your yoga mat down and do some light yoga work, some light weight work, etc. The Peloton bike is going to be pretty versatile in terms of that. Now you are getting a bit of a spec bump on the internals as well on the Plus model. All that is is basically going to be a slightly better processor along with two additional gigs of RAM which will just provide a more efficient and smoother experience on the bike. Another difference that the Plus model has that the basic version does not is going to be that the Plus model has a USB-C port versus a USB micro port on the basic tier. Now both bikes do come with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if you do want to connect wired headphones to the bike. Now the Plus model does also come with better connectivity in terms of Wi-Fi and it comes with Bluetooth 5.0 versus 4.0 on the basic one. The bike does come with a scenic ride which is pretty cool because you can basically choose your city, your country that you want to ride through and it'll take you on a bit of a guided bike trail tour. That's pretty cool. You can go to Australia, you can go to Spain, France, 
go over towards California. It really depends on whatever type of scenic route that you were choosing to do, so that's pretty cool. One recommendation that I might need to include is also going to be to buy some cycling shorts. All that is is going to be a pair of compression shorts with some light padding on your butt. Believe me, you'll thank me later. The seat on the bike is going to be pretty thin and stiff, so if you are doing a prolonged session or workout, your butt is going to be pretty sore the next morning. So keep that in mind. Unfortunately, to access all of the instructors and such, you do need a subscription to Peloton. That is going to be a little pricey, but it does also allow you to have up to three profiles set up on the bike. So you can have your profile and anyone else that might want to jump on there or piggy pack off of your subscription. You can also purchase many different types of accessories for the bike. Now, I personally would recommend getting the bike mat, especially if you have hardwood floors. Now, if you have carpet, it's going to be a little bit different. However, I think the bike mat is going to be beneficial strictly because it will protect the carpet along with provide additional stability for the bike. Now, I definitely recommend buying these cycling shoes if you are going to be someone that works out on this bike every day. Now, if you're a little bit more like me and jumps on this once or twice a week, depending on the day, whether it's raining and you don't want to go out to the gym or run outside, you can definitely wear your training shoes, your running shoes on this bike and not necessarily have too much of a problem gripping on the pedals. With that said, it is going to be a little bit better if you do have these cycling shoes just because these shoes lock into the pedals themselves and you don't have any problems with your feet slipping off the bike, especially when you're cycling really hard. Now, one cool thing that Peloton does is since they are partnered with Usain Bolt, for example, they will occasionally have him on the leaderboard during live classes so you can see how he's performing in that exact same live class that you might be working out in so while you don't necessarily see him it's pretty cool to know that he's in the same leaderboard with you and you can effectively compete against one of the greats in the olympic games in terms of build and construction the bike is going to be made of welded steel with a powder coating it's going to be a beast it's going to be rock solid and sturdy so no problems on that i've had a few workouts where i've gone extremely hard i've been gassed by the end of the workout completely um, just beasted on this thing and it's held up very well no problems no creaks or anything like that so it's gonna be rock solid on the construction now one thing that I definitely do like about the Peloton app and these instructors is going to be that they're all different in terms of their workout style their playlist songs and whatnot so that's pretty cool because you can work out with one instructor get one vibe go over to another one get a completely different vibe with a completely different playlist so it's strictly up to you so overall i have to say the bike has been pretty cool so far i'm going to go ahead and give it an a plus rating it's going to be something that i would definitely recommend if you can afford it i know it's a bit pricey and such but again if you are someone that's into cardio like i am i like to run i like to do uh, high intensity interval training along with weights uh, i just like kind of staying active and such this is going to be a definite recommendation for that kind of person Again, the bike is super cool, it's rock solid, and I think you're gonna love it. All right guys, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, comment down below with any questions or comments that you might have on the Peloton Bike Plus or other products that you would like to see on the channel. Aside from that, it's one at JB Reviews. I'll catch you next time.